Andy Jones is Associate Professor of Art in Painting and Drawing. He was born in Raleigh, North Carolina, and received his MFA in Painting and Printmaking from Louisiana Tech University. Professor Jones has exhibited throughout the United States. He is the winner of the 1998 U.S. Mint Quarter Design Competition for Connecticut. Uh, some of the mediums that I've worked in, um, I've worked with oil paint, watercolor, uh, pen and ink, um, in, in printmaking I've, I've dealt with etching and some screen printing. Um, oil paint for me is the most challenging because there's so many options. It, it's, you can, in, endless just in, you can do endless things with it. You can make it transparent. You can make it opaque. You can. Uh, it's just so so versatile that that's the challenge, is to find find a way to deal with it. Uh, some artists say that watercolor is is very difficult. Watercolor is not very difficult for me. It's so it's very it's immediate, and I I had some good instruction with it at at some point and. I have no fear of it whatsoever, and I think that's part of it with some folks. They, they're, they're just afraid of it, and um, it's real natural for me. Watercolor has a real beautiful quality when you use it transparently. There's something magical about it uh, when you can see the paper through this, this paint, and it's got all of its um, character. Uh, it, when, when watercolor is used transparently, it has, it's, it has a really beautiful look. It can also be used opaque, but it's a different look. Right? It's, uh, and I think some of the problems that people have, especially when they're first starting out, is using they're using they're using it opaque and transparently, and there's like a conflict there. It, it just doesn't look quite right, but I separate those two. I, I have made etchings direct, directly on the, right, take the plate and draw right on the plate. Um, I also have done preparation work. I mean, uh, printmaking requires a lot of planning. You have to, you have to plan, uh, what, you have to design and plan how, how you want this, this uh, print to look. As far as process, it varies. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll go out uh, with my paint box and do a small, uh, small uh, sketch, and it will evolve into something bigger, a, a studio painting that, need, that requires more detail. Um, I don't have any really set plan. I just respond to things. If something is interesting to me, um, I'll, I'll tackle it. I'll, I'll go try and make a piece of artwork about it. I respond to the, to the architecture, the older architecture that was, uh, has been here for a while. I, I like, I enjoy the way it is built into the landscape versus uh, mowing down the landscape and, and building something that doesn't really uh, fit as well. That's what I enjoy about the, the, the older architecture that ends up being in those paintings. I, I like the, the, the landscape, the, the architecture, uh, the, the equipment, the animals, um, everything that went along with that. So that's why I'm drawn to uh, uh, working farms. Well, the, the painting Winter Oak is is actually an oak tree that's in a field, cornfield down below uh, where I live. And I, when I first got to Connecticut, I saw the tree and was just really impressed with this. It's huge and it's, it's got a presence. It's, it's, it sits out in the middle of this field. And it just, I had to investigate it. So I went and stood under the, under the tree and it's just, um, an enormous, beautiful tree, so I had to do something with it. So I, I, I made a, I started that painting, Winter Oak. Um, and I'd seen it during different seasons. I, um, seen it in the summertime, in the fall, and 
the winter time is, does, or as it, uh, when the leaves drop, was uh, when I decided to to uh, do the painting. And when I when I started it, um, I didn't really know at the time why I, I wanted to do it without the, without the leaves, and. As I was working on the painting, it's, it's very intricate. It's got a lot of detail to the, to the branches. As I was working on it, I, I really went back to my childhood. And my grandmother at one point, when I was very young, she had me go out and draw trees. And I remember her specifically asking me to draw every little single branch. And it clicked in. It was like I, I went back to when I was very young. Um, that's the process of, of, of this painting, what happened during this painting. 